Hello everyone, welcome to We Love Africa. My name is Serame and I am South African and today I am taking you to the teapot shaped country Zimbabwe, previously known as Rhodesia and I want you to tell me in the comment section what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about Zimbabwe. For me, it's Robert Mugabe, Victoria Falls. And one thing I love about Zimbabwe is that most of their streets are named after pan-African leaders such as Samora Michelle from Mozambique, Julius Njerere from Tanzania, and Kwame Nkrumah from Ghana. So today I have Tandiwe from Zim and she's going to be sharing with us the tea from Zim, okay? No pun intended. <laughs> And it's very important, I believe it's very important that African stories should be told by Africans. Let's get into the video. Tandi, um, Zuri say. What should she say? Ah, Zuri Boshangwari. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> that is us greeting in Shona. Tandi is Shona, even though her name is Tandi. Tandi Way. Tandi, how are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for having me today. Now, before we get into speaking about the 10 facts or things you should know about Zimbabwe or Zimbabweans, let us in your name. Your, your name is Tandiwe and you are from Zimbabwe. How does that come about? Because Tandiwe is a South African name, Zulu, Kosa as well. <laughs> okay, so in Zim, we also have Ndebele people mm -hmm. right and so in zim tandwe is ndebele not okay. necessarily zulu or Kosa. Mm. and my grandmother was ndebele so hence the name tandiwe mm -hmm. and also fun fact there's an american actress tandy T newton oh yes her full name is actually tandiwe she's part zimbabwean oh really yes. oh wow i actually <laughs> thought she's south african but yeah oh, <laughs> oh wow <laughs> anyways um Tandy, let us get into, you know, the facts about Zimbabwe. There's a lot of people that are watching that don't know Zimbabwe. Okay. That they just hear things on the internet and they don't actually know Zimbabwe. And what better way to have a Zimbabwean to come and share or tell the story about Zimbabwe, okay? <laughs> the tea, the, 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 the teapot. Yeah, it's the, the teapot. Like teapot. It's the, the teapot, teapot country. country. <laughs> no wonder why the British colonized us. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Okay, sorry for another day. <laughs> now let's get into the languages of Zimbabwe. Tell okay. us more about, about that. So Zim has um, over 16 official languages. Mm -hmm. Most of them we share them with neighboring countries. For example, Kosa, um, we have Tonga, uh, we have Sutu, we have, um, I think those are the main Venda South African, as well. Oh yeah, Fenda that we share with South Africa. Yeah. Then we also obviously Shona, then there's Lebele, which is more like your Zulu. Mm -hmm. Then we have Kalanga, we have Chichewa, no, we have Chewa. Chewa, yes. Then we have uh, Tonga, we have, okay, those are the ones I remember. Okay. Yeah. Now it's quite, and, and, it, sorry, sorry. <laughs> we have English, obviously English, yeah. and then we have Zimbabwe Sign Language, and I can do the Zimbabwe Sign Language. Really? Yes. It's a Zimbabwe Sign Language? Yes. And I learned it in school. How do you say hello? My name is Tandiwe. I know the hand one. Yes. Okay. So it's hello. My name is Tandiwe. Ah! <laughs> so cool <laughs> you learned it at school yeah because um, we are not allowed to speak um during eating during dining session mm -hmm. so if you wanted to say salt for real <laughs> wow <laughs> and also another fun fact about zimbabwe is that boarding schools in zimbabwe are very popular it's very very common it's your it's a like it's a very common thing. every zimbabwean that i know went to a boarding school I and i'm just like school like it's very common <laughs> high school is boarding school so mm, mm. yeah it's very right. common. interesting interesting guys comment down below if you knew the language is spoken in zimbabwe if they are familiar to your country i know they're familiar to my country south africa because we have venda we have um um Tonga. Kosa, Tonga, you know, which are very similar to South Africa and Debele as well, you yes. know. Now let's get into the second fact or something that you'd know about Zimbabwe. Okay, so the second fact that you might have not known about Zim is that the majestic Mosi Atunya Victoria Falls is located, okay, it's shared between Zimbabwe and, South, and yeah. Zambia. Mm -hmm. There's a constant fight about that. <laughs> <laughs> by the so, way, yeah. by the way, I still think the Zambian side it's has the most. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at the end of the day, it's still in yeah. Zim. We still share. 
at the end of the day and it's one of the seven wonders of the world wow yes. wow amazing guys if you've been to victoria falls whether zim or zambia let us know how it was let us know the experience and yeah let us know and man. there's actually a city called victoria falls yes yes, yes. In so the, the victoria falls mm. is in victoria falls yeah no that's amazing <laughs> yeah. amazing so if you want to visit zimbabwe definitely go and visit victoria falls okay <laughs> the third fact about zimbabwe is that zimbabwe is landlocked okay so there's no any oceans or yeah, any there's no large water bodies mm. that surround zimbabwe no ocean no sea yeah we have man-made um dams and mm. lakes and yeah yeah and another one is that you can use it's multi-currency in yes, zimbabwe it's multi -currency. so currently the main currencies that are being used is the zimbabwean dollar and the us dollar um at times you do have the rand also mm, but wow. it depends on the um, you know fluctuations of economic fluctuations yeah. you know yeah for those that don't know the rand is a south african currency so that's quite interesting so yes. i can just go and spend my rands <laughs> The fifth fact about Zimbabwe is the fact that Zimbabwe has the largest man-made lake in the whole world, mm -hmm. which is Lake Kariba. Mm -hmm. And I've actually been there before. Is it? How yes. was your experience there? It was... Okay, to be honest, I went there when I was young. Like, <laughs> very young. Around yeah. six, seven years uh, of age there. Mm -hmm. But I remember we went there as a family, like okay. my mom's family, all of us, we went there. And it was, you know, traveling with um, cousins and all of that. Mm -hmm. It was quite an exciting trip to make. Mm -hmm. And just the fact that you see this fast water body. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, the previous fact that we say that um, Zimbabwe is landlocked, for us, that's our beach. You know, while mm -hmm. people yes. like in South Africa are excited to go to Durban, to Cape, Cape Town. Town. Mm -hmm. For us, that's our excitement because that's our you that's know cool. water recreational area <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do you ever go to like limpopo river because i have like family because i'm i live in messina okay. messina is right next to the zimbabwean border okay. so i have family members that come from venda or wherever else um in south africa when they come to visit us they want to go to the limpopo river just to see the river <laughs> okay. so i wouldn't know about the limpopo river because i've always stayed in harare okay and harare is closer to kariba than um, Limpopo. 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 Yes. Mm. And by the way, Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe. Yes. And you see, I, 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 I wouldn't know about Zimbabweans wanting to go to Limpopo River just to, because it's associated <laughs> with border jumping. <laughs> and crocodiles yeah, yeah. when you say limpopo river to me border jumping and crocodiles yeah. so <laughs> no scary guys <laughs> yeah all right all right the next point is that zimbabwe has got the second largest population of elephants and this is after botswana yes, right literally I think <laughs> elephants every, everywhere everywhere do you obviously. have elephants in your backyard <laughs> oh yeah oh yes you can come to my house you know, charge you some money but yeah you can come to my <laughs> wow yeah. that's quite interesting it has it has a vast number of um elephants mm. yes. and it also um a home for the big five right and so yes mm. all the big five wow yeah, in wow fact number seven is zimbabwe has the largest rock art in southern africa rock paintings mm -hmm. and so if you go to any of the sites really you mm. can um get to see the rock paintings i've actually seen some in chinoe caves so, wow wow yes. so there you go guys you have so much to look forward to when you go to zimbabwe okay so when you go on holidays please do tag us on instagram and show us all those beautiful paintings true <laughs> <laughs> okay the next point about zimbabwe is that zimbabwe is a top 10 producer of tobacco okay so if you want to do business cross over to zimbabwe okay and open your own tobacco factory or company whatsoever there is where the money at okay <laughs> <laughs> the ninth fact about zimbabwe is that it has six unesco world heritage sites mm -hmm. i'll just name a wow. few there's the great zimbabwe mm -hmm. the mosia tunya that i've spoken about which is victoria falls then there's the chinoi caves i mentioned it earlier mm -hmm. yes and so many others yes. wow so you have actually quite you know a large heritage site in zimbabwe you guys go and visit zimbabwe all right tandy now we can't speak about africa without speaking about music and i know yes i mean africans we are here you know <laughs> rhythm is in our bones it's in our bones play music and i'll you know i'll start dancing now yes. it's natural it just comes naturally <laughs> tandy now 
um, different countries have got different genres and all of that. We have Ama Piano and so forth, Kwaito in South Africa. What music is unique to um, Zimbabwe? Okay, I'll name mainly two. Mm -hmm. So there is Sungura. Okay. So I know you know the Sungura dance. The, the, the Makazi, the Makazi one, dance, yes. yes. The Sungura. Mm -hmm. And there are some few artists for Sungura that are well known, like Alec Macheso, mm. Tongai Moyo, you know. And then the other one is Zim Dance Hall. And I know a little dance of people. Hall. Dance Hall. No, not Dance Hall. Uh. Zim Dance Hall. Not da dance. Da oh, dance. Oh, dance. Hall. Yes. <laughs> Not dance, been, not dance, uh, dance, dance oh, hall, okay. Zim dance hall. I got it. And I am sure it's the one that's, in Shona we say, Irukutonga Maswan, meaning it's like, the one that's prevalent. Oh, these days. is it like yes. a modern, or oh, it's always been there? It's, it evolved, um, mm. I think a few years back, mm. you know, mm. at first people, you know Oliver Mtukudzi, right? Yes, at first yes. people like Oliver Mtukudzi once called it bubblegum music. Okay. Because they thought is it, it like, wouldn't last. Is it like hip-hop? Oh, bubblegum, like, meaning like it won't last. Like trap, you know, like oh. trap music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't last. Is it, is it sang in Shona? Yes. Everything wow. in Shona. Yeah. Wow. So a lot of artists actually... Most of these artists these days, they're actually um, Zim Dancehall artists. So one of the biggest, or one of the main rather, is Winky D. Do you know Winky D? No. Okay, so there's Winky D, mm -hmm. and then there's Soja Love. Okay, I'm going to name a few. Uh, please <laughs> Because name I don't them. really listen to. So there's Winky D, there's Soja Love, there's, mm -hmm. I think, Freeman. Um, yeah, I think those are the few that I can name. Or say Colors. Uh, yeah, I think. And then there's also GT music, hey? GT. GT. So it's like when the full moon is out, it, mm -hmm. like in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. So they play music. So it's mainly like um, drum, oh, African drum. drum. Oh, you I know. think most African countries actually have yes. drums. Because even in my culture. And from what I've heard, GT mm -hmm. music is not music that you can listen to in front of respectful elders. Really? So it's very sexual. Oh, yes. okay, okay. It's very, very sexual. Is it like for couple or married? Couple? No, like, it's like for the youth. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I, I, I really love that you guys have got your own music, and one of my favorite Zimbabwean artists it has to be the late Oliver Mtukuzi. I love, 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 love his music. Um, like I said, growing up in Messina, literally, um, almost in Zimbabwe, actually. Um, they used, I used to hear a lot of uh, Oliver Mtukuzi's okay. music. And also, another interesting thing about, you know that Makazi um, dance? Sungura. Sungura. Um, there's a village in Venda here in South Africa. Okay. They dance like Zimbabwean people. Okay. There's a particular community okay. where it's called Niani. Okay. Ne? They dance like, you know, Zimbabwean people. Okay. So it kind of like gives an idea that, no, actually, Zim um, Venda people come from Zimbabwe. To be honest, I always say this. The vendors and Zimbabweans, guys, we are one. Yeah, because even even our languages, yeah. they sound so similar, True. right? Um, there's some words that mean something different. Like you guys, mvura to us is rain, and vura to yeah. you guys is it's water. Yes. Yeah. So, oh yes. Um, just maybe just to throw in another fact thing mm. is in you know the English la, mm. um, alphabet has 26 letters. Mm. In Zim, the Shona alphabet has 23 letters. Okay. Mm. There is no L. Okay. There's no Q and there's no X. Wow. Yes. We I think we don't have Q. We don't have C as well. Is it? Mm, in Venda. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Venda people, please comment down so below. So what? Ma Confirm. Macheloni. Macheloni. Yeah. Ch is, is T S H. Oh. Yes. Macheloni, by the way, is morning. <laughs> For us, Ch is C H E. Oh, C H E. Yeah, oh. We don't have T S H in Shona. Is it? No. Okay, no, we have it in Venda. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Interesting, interesting how our cultures just interlink. Yeah. We are all the same, to be honest. I mean, you guys have got Ndebeles, we have Ndebeles, you guys have Venda, Tsonga, we have them here. Speaking of music, Ne, I want us to talk about the you know famous Zimbabwean music artists that are scattered around the world okay. that some people don't even know they're Zimbabweans okay. okay and let's not only talk about music artists let's talk about people that are famous around you know the globe okay that people don't even know they're Zimbabweans can I start okay in South Africa we have Nadia Nakai okay yes. she's Zimbabwean and then we have Berita Berita is an Afro jazz artist okay. absolutely beautiful she's Ndebele okay I think Nadia's 
Sh Shona. Yeah, Nakai yes. sounds Shona. Yeah, Nakai Shona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have the well known businessman who's mm -hmm. very successful in his businesses, a philanthropist, um, Strive Masiwa. Yes. Yes, right. Yes. Then we also have, um, in terms of music, we have um, Shasha, mm -hmm. South African yeah. based. We have Tanaka. She's in the United States. I think she does hip hop or R and B somewhere. Really? There. Yes. And then in arts, in um, music, sorry. And then in movies, we mm -hmm. have Dana Gurira. Where is she? Is it a he or a she? It's a she. Is it? Uh, Wakanda. The one with the bald head. Is she Zimbabwe? The dead, what? Walking dead. Are you serious? The one with the rasta. Yes, she's Zimbabwe. Danai Gurira. No, that's Shona. Nothing screams Shona than that. Nothing screams Shona than that. Danai Gurira is Shona, yeah. I actually know um, one of the Braxton sisters. There's someone that has a Shona name. Oh, it's not Shona. It is sounds it? Shona. Oh. Towanda. Yes, Towanda. I yeah. thought... No, in Shona, it's Tawanda. Oh, yes. okay. But oh, you she... never know. Maybe they took it. They... I mean, you never know. Babins. I'm sure they took it. Babins travel a us. lot. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Yeah. No, I've always thought she's um, their Shona because no, Tawanda. Tawanda. Oh, it's Tawanda, yeah. not Tawanda. Okay. Mm. Interesting how, you know, Zimbabweans are doing so great, you know, even outside of Zimbabwe. Guys, if you are still watching at this point, comment down below and let us know more famous people around the world that are Zimbabweans, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this segment about Zimbabwe and you learned a thing or two about Zimbabwe. And I know at this point, like seriously, I am, <laughs> I'm eating, okay? <laughs> so I decided to wrap this video up. And thank you so much, Tandiwe, for coming through. Chisarai, Tonana, see you next time. Sarai. <laughs>